afternoon as you can see I'm in the my, uh, my garage um, it's a lovely sunny afternoon in April 2020 it's actually Easter um, Easter Saturday to be honest with you but because of this um, UK lockdown route regarding COVID-19 then obviously we can't go out so um, I've decided to camp back in the garage this weekend now last weekend I did it for the Great British camp out for NHS staff which I'm going to do it again this weekend as well because I think they've still got the, the event running again and I've also combined in uh, another um, camp out run by a guy called Dave Roberts and his YouTube channel is um, Dave Outdoors he's putting one on uh, this weekend as well uh, and um, his camp his camp thing is called I can't remember it UK Lockdown Garden Camp so Dave's doing that uh, along with other people from uh, a Facebook page I'm a, um, a member of, which is uh, Great Outdoors TV. So um, last weekend I was camping. This weekend I'm going to do something a little bit different. So come along and see what uh, I'm going to do. And there we have it, my fumbled attempt at putting my hammock up um, in the garage. Now, I've not used the hammock for a couple of years, to be honest with you. Um, the last time I did it was probably a year or so ago. So, basically, I'm really rusty at what I did last time. Anyway, it's set up the best way it is, and I'm in a garage, so... Really. Right, I'm going to put a couple of fires in later on. Uh, nothing big, really. I've got um, two... Bushcraft Essentials. I've had these a good few years now. I've used uh, both of them quite a lot. This one especially. Um, sorry, turn that way. There you go. The same thing. I think they're a German make actually. They're very, very sturdy. They're very well made. Um, this one's easy. It's nice and light. You put it in your backpack if you're going for instance, a little woods. You want to make a brew, something like that. That's great. If you want to do something a bit more, then obviously you can take this. Um, do some cooking on it if you want to. Or if you just cold one night and it's... Um, and you've got some um, firewood, whatever it may be, and some old um, pieces of wood, dead wood, then use that. Make a difference, really, to be honest with you. That's small, that's big. So I'll get these two lit later on. Right, let's set these uh, two little uh, things up. Now, what I normally carry with me when I'm out, I'm in anywhere, I always pet stickles. It's like a soldering mat, but it's really, really good, basically. I don't eat free because it's concrete anyway, but... That's what happens, you just drop it down, drop that down, voila, it's done. And that's what I normally uh, use if I'm uh, out somewhere where there's a supply of timber. Oh, that here, brush is just for brush it out, but clean it all off when I finish with it. Very efficient, these stoves. Now, try that one side. This is the uh, Bushcraft Essentials on the tiny one. This is a bit different. It's not as easy set up to it, to be honest with you. Um... I'll show you if I can. This is the hard bit. It's all in pieces where the other one is just one. Dead easy. Right. Let's try and balance everything. This is the problem with this thing. Come on. There you go. <sighs> Takes you a minute to two foot do it. And I've been using this quite a lot, as you can see. Um, it's just all too awkward, but it's so light, this. It's only a few grams, but this is easily, well, I think it's over a kilo. Right, I'll get these two late later on. View to this lockdown, you get to know your neighbours a bit more. Uh, where is it? There's my uh, neighbour, Andy. Been uh, a few years right. now. Uh, and he was supplying me beers yesterday and I got a little bit tipsy so it's my turn to supply my beer. Cheers mate! Cheers mate. Cheers. Well it's getting dark so I think I'll light these two little fires. I'm 
Well, this is my chopping block that um, I had give me off uh, Bernard when we, when we cut his trees down in his house. So it's great for um, chopping timbers down. I have a, um, a wood uh, coal burner in the house, so I, I chop quite a bit of timber. And uh, I made this a while ago. You see, it's been a bit of battering. But uh, I feel like Fred Flintstone with this thing. But it's great for battering and stuff like that. I have this uh, cheap Alta Force knife. It's about 10 quid, I think, something like that. But it's great for battening stuff, I must admit. Now, when a fire gets low, I have a secret weapon to keep it going. Come and have a look. My secret weapon is just this. Uh, an old selfie stick, cost me about a quid I think. I've just cut the bottom off and took the top off obviously. And it's now hollow. So, I probably can't even see that. Really. Yeah. Um, and then what you do is, you put it in the fire and you blow. Uh, one word of warning, when you put it in the fire, take it out the fire first and then take a deep breath and put it in the fire because what I did, I stuck it in the fire, took a deep breath first and sucked in a lot of smoke and that ain't healthy, so be warned. Well that's a bit of a turn up for books, I'm just uh, hit back your head cooking, sorry, not, um, putting the fires on, I guess knock on the door, on the uh, garage door and it's a fire brigade saying uh, there's too much smoke here mate, which, what? He says, here? He says, no, 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 mate, it's behind you. Anyway, uh, somebody set a lot of timber on fire in a, an old uh, derelict building. So hopefully I'll go along and show you some of it and show you the fire brigade. And there you go, setting the fire out on the uh, bit of wasteland, it's an old derelict building that they've knocked down um, and they thought it was in my backyard. <laughs> well after that bit of a drama, I think it's time for bed.
morning everyone it's easter sunday happy easter everybody and hope you got uh, some easter eggs hope they're not sold out like bog roll hope all the kids are happy and yourselves hope you're all safe as well um had a good night's sleep in the hammock woke up once i think for a wee but generally all right i've not slept in it for at least a year but um it's all right but uh anyway beside the point i've made myself an egg and um bacon barn and a cup of cafeteria coffee and uh, we're going to chill out this weekend uh nothing else to do is to really think about it let's hope this pandemic uh, passes very quickly and we can get back on with our normal daily lives and we can all meet up with our friends and family and um everything goes all right anyway have a great easter uh, keep yourselves safe and isolated as much as possible and no doubt i'll see you on the next video thanks very much